Hey YouTube, this is Matt here with Maple Mountain Fireplace. Hey, today we're gonna light the first fire in the brick and flame wood fired oven and show you how to cure your oven. So first off, I want you to know if you haven't seen our DIY video on how to build this oven, you should check that out first. But this video, we're gonna cover the curing process and how to light a fire and why you need to cure your oven. So the number one reason, we need to draw the moisture out of the fire brick and refractory very slowly. If you do this too quick, the refractories or the brick could crack. And if you do have a lot of moisture in it, it could actually explode. So it's really important to draw the moisture out slowly and also to seal up your chimney cap and roof and make sure that there's no water can penetrate the outer oven. So whatever way you finish your oven, make sure that is sealed up. So we're lighting the fire here. I want you to see I've used a large handful of kindling wood and then we've got one small log. So these are all examples of small logs. You can put your hand around it. It's a small log. Preferably use some smaller logs that are split. They're gonna burn better. This is too big. This is a large log. This needs to be cut down and split better. But if it won't fit around your hand, it's too big. Use logs that are small for the curing process. We're just gonna let this fire get as hot as it's going to get and just let it go out naturally. And this will remove a lot of moisture and give us our day one of curing. So I'd like you to wait a full 24 hours and then do the same thing, only maybe add another two, maybe three logs, but not all at the same time. Let the fire burn for a little bit longer and add a little more wood, maybe three, four inch logs, you know, small size logs, but split up. So that's gonna catch fire quickly and burn a little bit longer, maybe an hour or two. And finally, day three, do the same thing and then let your oven get up to temperature and you can start cooking. You don't wanna allow any moisture inside. Um, if you know there's gonna be a big rainstorm, Put a tarp over your oven or maybe put some plastic or some sort of cover in front of the door. Um, maybe you have a piece, of, a piece of metal that you can make a door out of, something decorative. Have a local sheet metal shop or even a local iron shop. Cut a piece that's going to fit your door because again, this is a custom pizza oven that you make so every size is going to be a little bit different so make what you want and make it the way that's going to look good for you do not use anything other than natural wood don't use anything glue or pressure treated or chemical treated no plywood no osb no railroad ties no plastic, let's keep this nice and clean. It's gonna be healthy for you, healthy for your family, and for the environment. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. You can get your brick and flame wood-fired oven at Maple Mountain Fireplace. Call us using the phone number in the description. 
And visit www.brickandflame.com for more information. Thank you so much.